Although female bonobos are about 20% smaller than males, roughly the same ratios as in chimps and humans, they dominate males by sticking together. Oh no, wait, that's just the golden bolt. Never mind. Hello, we're back. Hi. Hi. How's it going? That was a really creepy way for you to say hello, <laughs> Catherine. I know. Never do know. it again. So, seven things we can learn about love from bonobos. <laughs> we're still on this. <laughs> More sex equals less conflict. Okay. Man, that was a hard open, Catherine. Yep. <laughs> Straight in there with the yes. S word. Yep. Uh, chimps use violence to get sex, while bonobos use sex to avoid violence. <laughs> oh See, my I gosh. They're amazing creatures. Yep. There's a lot we could learn from them. Two, feminism can be very sexy. Don't change your mind now. <laughs> I mean, I stand by my arguments. Okay, when females are in charge, everyone's lives are better. Ooh, okay. Well, Ooh, that's I do a, try to put you a... in charge, Catherine, but you don't let Oh me. my god, <laughs> you're actually ridiculous. I'm just taking... How can you not make a decision about what you want for dinner? Why is it when you finally make a decision what you want for dinner, it's always the opposite of what I suggest? I tell you, do you want burgers or pizza? And you go, I don't care, it's up to you. And I go, right, fine, burgers. And then you go, wait, no, I want pizza. Just tell me you wanted pizza in the first place. God damn it! Has this been bugging you for a while, Cass? Just tell me! It feels like it's been bugging you for a while. Just, if you wanted the pizza, pick the pizza. Don't tell me that you don't care. But I didn't know Don't I tell me you don't care and then let me make my mind up. Let me make the decision and then tell me that my decision's wrong. But I didn't know I wanted until you'd made the wrong decision. <laughs> the wrong decision. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can breathe underwater now. Can I like my mum sometimes, you know that. So are you. Oh! My mum expects me to know what she wants me to do. You know, have you got that with your mum sometimes? Like when they ask you a question that there's two answers, but it turns out although there's actually two answers, there's only one answer? Uh, no. Really? Oh. No. Uh, like, comment and subscribe, guys, if you've ever come across this. And it's, it's sort of like your mum asks you a yes or no question, and you say the wrong answer <laughs> and it turns out no there wasn't actually it wasn't a yes or no question it was a no this is the answer question and you, you answered wrongly and it's uh, it's upsetting anyway number three sisterhood is powerful <laughs> really although female bonobos are about 20 percent smaller than males roughly the same ratios as in chimps and humans they dominate males by sticking together Interesting. Maybe we can't learn things from the bonobos. <laughs> Number four, jealousy isn't romantic. Have you ever been jealous before? Um. Not even just romantically, just in general. Yeah, jealousy is a natural part of life. Everyone what's, gets jealous. What's of What's been things. the most ridiculous thing you were jealous of? Oh. Um, I don't actually know. You want me to tell you mine? I don't. I don't get jealous very easily. Like, the, yeah. the things I remember being jealous about are like being a kid and somebody having an Xbox or something yeah. like that. And I didn't have an Xbox because I had a PlayStation. <laughs> like, <laughs> stupid things that don't matter. I remember the stu most stupidest thing I got really jealous of or upset or annoyed about was um, I had dinner here and I thought we were going to do dinner together, but your mum cooked for us and it was like that beef that smelled like chappy. Oh yeah, yeah that, that was beef weird. that smells like the dog food that smells like fish. Yes. <laughs> it made no sense. It was so confusing. Were you not be better confused? Hope my mom sense. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're watching this, Tina. But it stank a chappy, and we got so confused. And then I got home, and this is what the most ridiculous thing is. I got, I went home, and I'm like, oh, what did you guys have for dinner? And they went and got, went out for dinner and went and got Indian. And they brought loads back home and stuff like that because they had loads, right? I was super jealous of this, that they got this really nice meal. Twist! You don't, I like, don't Indian like Indian food! food. <laughs> I really don't like Indian food. I don't like spicy food. I don't like Indian food. It's just not for me. It's not my taste. Speaking of spicy food. <laughs> no, no, we'll we talk, about that. talk about that in a minute. But that was my most insanely ridiculous jealous thing. I didn't even... I don't know why I was jealous, because 
but I was. I was so jealous and I don't even like Indian food. That's how bad it was. I'm sorry, Tina, but meat, beef, roast beef should not smell like chappy. This smells like fish. <laughs> anyway, yes, talking of spicy things. So comment down below before, before we continue, comment down below answering us this question. When you read salt and pepper chicken on a on a restaurant menu, right? Is that is that chicken going to be spicy or not spicy? Right, just just comment down below before we tell you. It's always fucking spicy. It it, it all it said was that it had it had sweet chili sauce. It was it was salt and pepper chicken with sweet chili sauce. So I asked for it without the sweet chili sauce. And I had onions and peppers and stuff, which is fine. I can deal with onions. I like onions. And I can deal with peppers because peppers aren't... They're a wee bit spicy for me. Don't question me. Don't judge. I have a very, very pathetic we're palate. Both, we're both the same in that respect. Yes. Things that most people would say, oh, that's not spicy. That's fine. I cry. They're very, very spicy to us. We have yes. oversensitive <laughs> spice buds. <laughs> Just we We're oversensitive to caspacin. Yeah. And it's it's it, 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 it's 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 silly, and a lot of people think we're being we're being ridiculous. Until one day, I ate chicken tikka and cried because it was spicy. I had proper yeah, I mean, tears thing, in my eyes. The thing about it is that caspasin, casp, caspasin, <laughs> it literally makes you feel pain. Like that's what it does in your mouth. Yes, it makes you feel pain, and we you suck. Most people just. I don't think it was my fault. Controller's going funny. Back in All there. right, okay, cool. Uh, Hi. So the whole point, the, the thing that's in spice is that it makes you feel pain, and some people are just sadists that enjoy it. No, some people take that pain and, you know how, like, when a cut or something like that is sort of healing and it feels warm? Yeah. Like, that's what's going on. All right. Uh, I don't happening? think it's... I think it might be the game. We will be back in a second. And we're back. We're back. I have a new controller. I have to sit forward because the wire is so short. <laughs> yeah, alright, do you want me to move the... Here we go. Is that it better? Should we do be that. Fine. There we go. Anyway. This one does have a turbo button. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do though. anything, though. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. I just... Spicy food just... It does. It just... It makes my nose run and everything. But anyway, I can just about deal with peppers. So I didn't think anything of it. What I didn't realise they'd done is chopped up jalapenos <laughs> in it. So when I ate one of the bits of chicken, I didn't realise it. I thought it was like... It was cooked with jalapeno. It was cooked with jalapeno. And so the tears started, didn't they? <laughs> it was awful. I'm not as bad with spicy food anymore. No, you've kind of... My favourite food is spicy, so... Wait, what's your favourite food? The salt and pepper ribs that you get at a chain of buffet thing. Are they, are they spicy? But, well, they're salt, pepper and chilli. Ah. Oh. But, like, I've sort of built up an immunity a little bit into spicy food by just eating them. No. Because they're so tasty. Oh. And, like, sometimes they're spicy, but most of the time they're not. So Aye. like just depends. I need to sit up properly. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sat at a funny angle. <laughs> but no, it was it was um. My burger was delicious. Your burger was did look delicious. I must admit. Um, I can't even do pepper though. Really, were you jealous, Catherine? I was jealous. Not as jealous as I was about the Indian. You know, given the fact that I don't like Indian. I, I worry about myself sometimes. Anyway, are we going to continue? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, he's getting another little upgrade. <laughs> Actually, um, I'm a little robot. <laughs> you see Ratchet's face? I know. Yeah, looks on everything. You be nice. Ooh! 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 A hydro pack upgrade. It helps me swim faster. <laughs> That would be quite helpful for swimming underwater. Whatever. Wow. It's help you too, dumbass. God. You go, Can we maybe move the PlayStation closer? I can't. Like, There's no space. No, but if you just move it forward a smidge, just so it's overhanging it slightly. It. I would rather not overhang it. Not even for a wee while. No. Okay. Because if I pull on this, it all right. Yeah, fair enough. Fall. Okay. So number five, there's promise and promiscuity. 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 <laughs> Shut up. Promiscuous. Promiscuous. Promiscuity. 
Promiscuity. No, promiscuity. Promiscuity. You really need to learn how to English better, <laughs> Catherine. All the casual sex among bonobos is arguably a big part of what makes them among the smartest of all primates. Wow. I feel like this guy just wants us all to have sex. Like... I'm not opposed. <laughs> uh, until human beings came along and messed things up for them, bonobos enjoyed a very high quality of life, low stress, and plenty of social interactions in hammocks. <laughs> oh. Number six, good sex needn't always include an orgasm, and casual doesn't necessarily mean empty or cheap. Interesting. Yeah, there's a thought. There's a thought. Apparently most bonobo sexual interactions are nothing more than a quick feel rub or intromission. A bonobo handshake. I wonder what that is. <laughs> I don't think I want it's to know. two bonobos rub their pieces together. <laughs> Literal sword fights. Wow. Wow. And on that note, <laughs> the next episode is Sparkafish. We will finish up. We'll talk some cr- more stuff. Maybe bring some rare theory into a scientist man.